Hey y'all, it's Eileen Coupon Gal. I'm sorry, I'm so frustrated right now. I recorded um, my CVS haul earlier yesterday and I've been trying to upload it literally all night. I don't know if it's the length of the video or what, but it's not uploading. It keeps processing it as failed. So I'm going to try to get through this as fast as possible. This is my collective, not collective haul, but this is basically one transaction that I did on one card. I chose the one that I thought made the most sense to share with you. Um, very slow week. This is why I advocate getting rain checks because on a slow week you can make your own sales and turn a boring week into a decent week. So I'm going to address a few questions. Um, first things first, I wanted to talk to you about extending the life of the Redbox coupons. I've gotten a couple of comments saying that their store does not accept expired Redbox coupons or CVS coupons of any type, whether they have a rain check or not. If you check the CVS coupon policy and go to the Frequently Asked Questions page, it stipulates specifically if you obtain a rain check for an item that's out of stock that has a valid CVS coupon that's current while that promotion is running, attach your coupon to the rain check and they should honor it. Um, also, I've been getting questions about the using a dollars or cents off coupon with a BOGO coupon. Several people have commented that you are not supposed to use the two in conjunction with one another because that's what the uh, manufacturer intended. They did not intend you to use them together. However, store policy is, is that you can still coupon on the item you're technically paying for. So I just wanted to address those two things. So let me go ahead and get into my haul. Lots of rain checks, lots of expired CVS coupons. So I understand if you cannot repeat everything exactly. These are just ideas of what I did this very slow, slow week. So I showed you this in my rain check alert video. This saved $10 on the AccuCheck Nano Smart View. Manufacturer coupon does not expire till 531, 2013. It does state cannot be combined with any other offer. I use the $10 CVS printable coupon that is expired. I'll link it below. Um, because if you really look at the wording, it's talking about combining it with insurance offers. It also does state limit one per customer, but I did use multiples in one transaction and they did not beep. So I picked up five of them with my rain check, $14.99 minus $20 in coupons for each one. So basically $5 and a penny in overage for each meter and I got back $5 a piece from last month's promotion, buy one, get back five. Um, so that gave me a ton of overage. Another overage maker was the Nature's Bounty Protein Shakes. I'm only showing you four, but I actually got eight. They're BOGO this week, $18.29. So I picked up eight of them, only paid for four, and that totaled me $53.16. I had a 10 off 50 vitamin purchase Redbox coupon. I had eight $5 expired Redbox coupons off the Nature's Bounty. And then I also had eight of these $4 off one printables from CouponNetwork.com. I'm not sure if they're still available. But that gave me $82 in coupons, which translated into $28.84 in overage. So I was using other items as well to bump my total up, like the Tresemme. Three for ten, picked up six, totaled me twenty. I had the expired two off two red box coupons as well as the dollar seventy-five peely. So that gave me about fifty cents in overage. Then with the Pantene, working on my rebate, the spend fifty, get back fifteen Procter and Gamble rebate. These are two for seven, picked up six, totaled me twenty-one dollars. I also used the BOGO coupons, took off max value of four ninety nine three times, as well as the three off three. Obviously, increments of 20 in my mind, but use whatever purchase-based coupons that you have. 10 off 50, 6 off 30, 5 off 25. Lots of different um, variations are out. I actually got an 8 off 40 cosmetics email coupon. So that was pretty cool. Beauty purchase. No, it was cosmetics. Okay, so yeah, that one gave me about 75 cents in overage. On CVS's website, there's a 75 cents off one Kleenex hand towel printable. There's also a 50 cent off one printable from Kimberly Clark's website. Had a rain check for when these were three, I'm sorry, two for six or three dollars each. Had a dollar 25 in coupons, so I paid a dollar 75 each. Not bad with my overage. The Wet n Wilds buy one, get one half off, and I had the expired one dollar manufactured coupon as well as the expired four off 12 cosmetics coupon. So that was probably a freebie because these are the more expensive items. Like the Fergie polish was like $3 and change. Some of these items were $1.99 or $2.99 and change. Had a rain check for the Culturel when these were $10, giving back a $10 extra buck. Had the $2 manufacturer coupon found inside previous product pack packaging for the Culturel, as well as a $3 off any stomach or digestive um, 
item, Redbox coupon, something to that effect. So I paid five, got back five for the weekly and ten for my rain check. Awesome money maker. Since I was using Overage, I actually thought this was going to be, sorry my nails guys, I thought this was going to be a little bit more expensive than what it actually turned out to be, but I had an expired six dollar Redbox coupon. These are buy one, get back ten. Regular price is twenty two forty nine, so I could use a four off twenty. One dollar manufacturer coupon as well as the expired six dollar Redbox coupon. So 11 in coupons, paid 11.49 and got back 10. Fantastic. Don't think you can submit this for the rebate, but still just a great deal. Maybelline Cosmetics are spend 10 get back 3. I had a rain check for spend 10 get back 3. These are 4.59 each. So 3 of those totaled me 13.77. I could use an expired 4 off 12 Cosmetics Redbox coupon as well as 3 $1 manufacturer coupons on any eyeshadow. So I paid Six seventy-seven, and I got back six. Three from the weekly, three from the rain check. Now you can do the Maybelline more than one spend ten get back three, but you can only do one per transaction. So even though I had thirteen seventy-seven in Maybelline, only ten tracked. The L'Oreal is spend ten get back three as well, and I had a rain check for spend twelve get back four. The nail polishes are five ninety-nine each. It totaled me eleven ninety-eight. I had a three dollars off one Redbox coupon for any nail L'Oreal nail. And I also had two $1 manufacturer coupons. So that was five in coupons. I paid $6.98 and I got back seven. Three for the weekly, four for my rain check. Speaking of not doing more than one promotion per transaction, the Dove had been behaving that way. Spend 15, get back five with a limit of 10. And I believe that started last month. And you could only spend 15 once per transaction because that's all that tracked. However, I actually accidentally picked up $30 worth in one transaction four of the six-pack bars, and two of the body washes, and that totaled me $30. I did get back my $10, so they must have changed the programming in the system. So with that $30 purchase, I could use a four-off 20. I had two of the $1.50 off one tear pads off of the body wash found at Kroger, as well as these printables, $2 off one six-pack bar or 12-ounce body wash or larger from Facebook. If you go to Southern Savers, she links it. You have to watch a video, and then you can print it. So I had four of those. So that totaled me 15 in coupons. So I paid 15, got back 10, and then 10 from my rain check. Alternately, the caress is also a part of it at $6 each. I'm sorry, did I mention that these were $6 each? And there are dollar printables. I'm not sure if they're still available, but they were available on coupons.com. Dollar off one. Okay, M&M's, great deal. Four for 12, get back four. I had the dollar fifty off two manufacturer coupons. There are also printables available. And I also had the dollar off one Redbox coupons on the M&M peanut. So I paid five and got back four. Seven dollars in coupons. Three manufacturer, four CVS. Paid five and got back four. A quarter a piece is insane for M&Ms. These soft soap are two, four, seven, get back four, and I had two 50 cent printables. The Tide, I had a rain check for spend, spend 30, get back 10. These are on sale for $5.94 this week, not giving back an extra buck, but I was using Overage. So I picked up six of them, which definitely totaled me over $30. And then I had those coupons I showed you from eBay. It's a blinky. I'm not sure where they are from, but you buy one Tide and get one Tide boost for free. These are $4.49, but the coupon takes off $4.99. So I was way over $60 using my applicable coupons. The free coupon as well as the three off three. I paid like 14 and change and got back 10, which is amazing for Tide. The Right Guard Extreme is a part of the two for six, get back a dollar this week. And we have those $2 off one coupon. So basically you pay two and get back a dollar, 50 cents each. I had an expired $2 off any two Right Guard deodorant red box coupon. So I paid zero and got back a dollar. The Lady Speed Stick, I had an expired manufacturer coupon. Instead of being two for six, these are actually ringing up $2.99 each, so $5.98. Minus my $2 in coupons, I paid $3.98 and got back two. The ZZ Quill, I had a rain check for when they were $4.99. Buy one, get back two. This week, they're buy one, get back a dollar. So $4.99 minus my dollar manufacturer coupon, I paid $3.99 and got back three. If you can grab a rain check for the ZZ Quill this week, it's fantastic. Lock in that $4.99 price and the dollar extra buck. Either next week or the week after, they are buy one, get back two. I did the physician's formula again. This is a separate card, as I mentioned, for the spend 20, get back 15 monthly promotion with a 50% off retail rain check. So these two totaled me $21.99, and the BOGO Peely's max value is $22.99. So they did enter in the max value, so I got a little bit of overage, and I got back the $15. All goes towards the beauty club. Fantastic. 
The Fakai, I just had a $5 home mailer, again using Overage. Not pictured is the Twilight DVD at $16.99. I found these Essence of Beauty hand sanitizers on clearance for $0.79 cents each, and I picked up five of them, which totaled me like $3.95 or something like that. I had a $3 off any Essence of Beauty bath body or fragrance expired Redbox coupon. All of the scents, the citrus coconut, the pomegranate apple, and then there was like a sun blossom or something. Yeah, all of the scents are on clearance. Sally Hansen Simple Spa Wax Warmer is on clearance for $5.24. Regular price is like $20.99 for that. Had an expired $2 Redbox coupon. I picked up a smoothie blender for no particular reason. Secret Clinical is buy one, get one 50% off. $8 and change for this one, $4 and change. When you buy two, you get the spray for free, max value $5.99. And these go towards the rebate, the Olay rebate. The La Roche-Posay, I had a rain check for $19.99, and I had a $5 manufacturer coupon. If you have that $19.99 rain check, hold on to it. We're going to see a promotion with an extra buck attached either next week or the week after. And if you have those $5 manufacturer coupons, that is an insane price. Combining that with your rain check, oh my gosh, such a good deal. Jelly beans, $0.99, cents, get back $0.99. Cents. Wanted a backup of my Sally Hansen starter kit, so these are $29.99. As you know, these are spend 10, get back 5 with a limit of 2 for the week. However, you can only do one $10 promotion per transaction. So $29.99 and I had 3 of the expired $4 off any $10 gel polish purchase Redbox coupons. Also the $5 printable off the starter kit. So I paid like $12.99, got back 5 for my weekly and 5 for my rain check. These Brookside, I had a rain check for spend 15, get back five. I only picked up one of them because we're going to see that promotion again either next week or the week after. So I'm going to hold my rain check to double dip. The Rice Krispie Treats, my store only had one, so they allowed me to get one and still use the dollar off two Redbox coupon as well as the 55 cents off one manufacturer coupon. Okay, guys, I'm running out of time, so let me show you this Alka-Seltzer deal I found now. A while ago, I showed you guys how these were 50% off at my store. They're now down to 75% off, and this is how I worked a little bit of overage. The 24 count, or the bonus 36 count, is $1.24. I picked up 13, totaled me $16.12. The 48 count right here picked up seven of those at $2.32 each, which totaled me $16.24. Gave me a grand total of $32.36 in Alka-Seltzer. I got a 5 off 25 allergy red box coupon, allergy purchase red box coupon this week. As well as I used 16 of the $2 coupons from the 1.6 smart source or the 127 smart source to total me $32. Now I bought 20 items, but because my items totaled me $32.36, if I would have tried to use any more of these $2 coupons, they would have beeped and it would have been a waste of my coupon. So I only used 16 of them just to get me down to 36 cents out of pocket. But my 5 off 25 gave me a little bit of overage, $4.64 worth. Okay, guys, complete breakdown from all this. I think I got everything as best I could. Um, I spent $29 in ECBs out of my pocket. Fantastic for all of this. I earned $142.99, part of which was my green bag tag. $75.99 was weekly promotions, and $69 was from the rain checks. I spent $232.11 in Beauty Club, which is a $20 beauty buck, which makes this a final $133.99 moneymaker. Fantastic for a slow week. I understand you guys will not be able to repeat all of these with the expired coupons and the rain checks, and etc. But that is definitely why I advocate the rain checks. You can make your own sales on a slow week like this. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this one uploads this time. I'll see you in the next video.